Awesome. Um, we're just extremely ex excited to be one of the 16 teams playing uh, at this time of year. It's uh, always an honor to um, be playing Super Regionals, and um, we've worked really hard for it. And uh, Oklahoma State's a great ball club, um, bring high energy, and uh, it's going to be quite fun. Um, one of my first regionals was with Oklahoma State here, so it's going to be quite fun to, to play the Cowgirls. So excited for the opportunity. I know the girls to the left um, are completely ready, and um, it's going to be a fun weekend. Questions? Megan, I'm sure it's, it's more fun to just cruise, but do you think having the adversity you guys had in the last game of the regional might be a good thing? Yeah, 100%. Um, I think that every single game is always one pitch away from changing and just being in those competitive ball games and just bringing out the best in um, teammates to your left and your right is just a fun opportunity. And that game was really fun, as much as stressful and crazy it was at some times. Um, but I think it's just awesome to just have that one pitch mentality and be in those competitive moments for sure. Sydney, was Oklahoma State, were they a factor for you? Did they recruit you? Did you consider them <laughs> No, um, they weren't really ever a factor for me in my recruiting process, but I know a couple girls that play there and I'm just really excited to have them come out here and have a fun Super Regional. Mm -hmm. and kind of, I mean, obviously the World Series is the same place as every year, but even being where you're from, you've had a lot of different connections to, to home in your short career. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just excited to play Super Regionals <laughs> with the girls I know on that team and kind of get them far away from home and see how they'll play here. And, yeah, I'm just excited. Sydney, the, the amount of success that you guys had scoring in the, the first inning, what do you attribute that to, and what kind of pressure does that put on a team when you guys are getting out ahead so early in games? Yeah, I think when we come out really strong in the first inning with Callie getting on base and then us just kind of producing behind her, it just sets the tone for the game and uh, gives a little relief to our pitchers knowing that we're starting off on top. And uh, it's a good way to set the tone for the rest of the game, and um, hopefully we can do that this weekend. Lonnie, how cool is it to hear how quickly the tickets sold and, and yeah. just the excitement? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, it's been fun. Even Danny and Elizabeth doing the little commercials. <laughs> and, you know, there's just there's so many unique parts of getting to this time of year that are special, not just playing softball. And um, it creates a buzz and an energy for it. Um, our fans have been amazing. Um, I think the support has been awesome, but yet uh, there's a different sense with our fans right now. They're all in. Um, we did the fan day at the beginning of this year just to educate a little bit on softball and now to see everybody just standing up and cheering for the last outs, the strikeouts, the yes, yes, the K time. I mean, uh, those things go a long way. And, um, you know, knowing how quickly it's sold is just a uh, the vision I think that we had as a program, it's starting to be like, oh, this is so cool to actually see it come together. And, um, you know, it's one thing to run into a program and have that given to you. It's another to build it. You know, we've literally built this together. And I know Coach Graff handed it off to me. And, you know, now I've, I've put my little stamp on it. These kids have been a huge part of it. Um, they feel proud of it. I, I think that there's moments where I'm sure Megan and Sid can look around and just be like, wow, this is this is so amazing that they jumped on board with us. And, and we've been a part of this building. So. Um, I think that's one thing that, that when you hear that, when Scott told us that, um, you're just like, wow, like, like that's all your family and friends. That's what we feel like. We feel like there's 2,000 family and friends with us. I mean, from the student veterans on the fourth floor to our parents on the third floor of the parking garage to knowing where all our dugout club members are. I mean, you can make eye contact. There's this really intimate setting here at the Plex, and um, it just really gives you that sense that I'm sure as a kid you grow up and you know where your mom and dad are. And now as a coach and a player here, we know where everybody's at. And it just makes it such a unique feeling. Coach, just to build on that, uh, on the way here, even listening to ESPN radio, they're already playing previews for uh, the College World Series and, yeah. all, and, and all that. Um, is the excitement and the buzz, do you think, is that attributed to games like ones you just played against South Carolina and ones yeah. you, you guys played in the World Series last year? Has that made this sport grow? Yeah, for sure. I mean, if you look at the regionals, I think eight of them went to game seven. Um, they're exciting. I'm going to tell you, we even have Coach Gregorian texting us as a coaching staff, like, wow, what about that, you know, Oklahoma game in Wisconsin? And, you know, there's our neighbor that's totally all in for softball, just like we are for soccer. And uh, it's a sport that's grabbed a lot of people. It's a great time of year. It's high energy. Um, so, yes, I, I think there's a, a huge softball family here in Tallahassee that loves Florida State, but I think people really love softball. 
Um, some of our dugout club members will text me at night and do you think, you know, what's Jamie you going to do with UCLA? And I'm like, how do you even know that? You know, they, they are, they're all in watching it. And uh, just as much as we fall in love with the sport, that's why we play and coach it. A lot of people are falling in love with it too. So, so there is a buzz. And, um, you know, I think when they talk about the World Series and stuff now too, there's a sense of pride for us right now as, as Florida State is we're on those commercials. And, you know, I mean, I still get chills when I see, you know, it starts off with Kylie and I see Megan jumping around and sit at first base. Like, we're a part of history for the ACC. We're, we're part of history. And so it, it just gives you that that still inspiration. To, we want to be there again, and we want that those moments again. So um, so it's it's kind of both ways when you see those commercials, that hype. It's just there's proud moments and then also an inspiration for it. Megan, kind of going along with that, I mean, you've been here for a little while now. I mean, how have you just seen it grow from year one to, to, to now in your yeah, it's been incredible. I mean, I just remember playing my freshman year, just redshirting my freshman year, and you're like, hey, mom and dad, like, how are you? <laughs> like, oh, hey, a few boosters that have been there around this program forever, and now it's just electric when you're playing out there. Just like what, what Coach has said is there's been so many moments, and I think I can speak on behalf of all the seniors, that you just are in this huge situation, that huge one pitch, and you literally just have to take a step back from your position and just take a deep breath and just be like, how cool is this atmosphere right now? And how, how lucky are we to be playing this game? And I think I've had more than, more than my uh, fair share of moments uh, doing that this year. and It's just been electric, and I mean, I just love – Tallahassee so much for that and how you can literally like walk around Tallahassee and you're like oh my god you guys are softball players and that's something that we've obviously never experienced in the last five years here so just having that family loving vibe in Tallahassee has just been incredible to play here. Marty or Disney, uh, you're playing a team that's kind of had some viral bat flips this year mm -hmm. I mean as many as you've hit you don't really do that I guess not that one way is right and the other is wrong I guess what's kind of the FSU reasoning for not really subscribing to that? Um, well, I'm a big softball god fan, <laughs> like, you, know, big, uh, you know, and that's just, and I always kind of keep a pulse on that part of it, and um, honestly, the curtain call with the animals this last round, is, it was like, okay, you know, Megan ran down, she's like, what do you think, what do you think, you know, and it's just funny, like, you know, there, there's just a, a way to play the game, and every coach and every program decides how they want to play the game, and uh, I think uh, Oklahoma State has done a tremendous job this season, and they've embraced who they are and what they do, and it's awesome, and they're great ball players, and Sam's a an amazing athlete and so um, but it really makes you start to look as a, a program and a coach like okay you know what do we want to do because what happens sometimes is you know the kids get excited about you know well that's cool I want to do that and then we just really have to talk about it and I think we did talk about it and um, you know what kind of style that we play and there is no right or wrong way there's just how the way you do it and you embrace the way that you do it and so um, so we're good with the the curtain calls now with a little high five we talked about that part of it thank you so much and then move on but um, I really, I'm excited because they're bringing um, a little chip on their shoulder and having gone to the University of Oklahoma, I know what it's like to be there and I know how hard it is for Oklahoma State to make their mark. Um, you know, University of Oklahoma sponsors and hosts the World Series, like there's just a big vibe there and I was a part of that when I was a player there and, um, you know, so it's kind of interesting and I think Oklahoma State has done a great job and they've, they've built that in the state of Oklahoma, so um, they had to figure out a way and a, and a way that they do things, so. Megan, when you look at Oklahoma State's lineup, what sticks out to you? Um, I think they're just competitors. And again, what Coach was saying with the chip on their shoulder, they're going to fight every single pitch. And I think that as a pitcher, you just know that you can't take a pitch off in those situations. So I think that um, as a staff, we just have to keep the same um, one pitch mentality and knowing if you do give up a base hit, um, a walk, a hit by pitch, et cetera, um, you just have to go compete every single pitch. And I think that I'm excited to play them. I think they're a really competitive squad and I like those competitive moments. So I'm just excited to get after it with my sisters. Megan, what do you remember about your first Super Regional? Um, Utah, 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 right? Utah, sorry, five years, you know, like it catches <laughs> up to you. Um, but I'm just, I, I'm just excited. I think that the last five years have just been a journey here. Um, I remember um, our Super Regional against Tennessee and going there um, and watching Lacey and JB just compete pitch by pitch and just having it at home the last few years and just getting that competitive Tallahassee vibe with all of our fans and everything. I'm just excited to compete in front of a home crowd. Um, I think that every Super Regional we've played has been extremely competitive, and that's what you want. I mean, there's there's only 16 teams left um, in the entire Division One NCAA, and I think that just 
getting those opportunities and for us just getting a chance to just be in there and could just compete in those moments. I'm just really excited to get after it this weekend. You mentioned the third and fourth floor of the parking deck. Who, who are those people? <laughs> <laughs> the student veterans are on the fourth floor. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, they've been a part of us all season and they, they've been awesome up there. And the third floor ends up being kind of the, the parents <laughs> dugout club member to pre-game tailgate, <laughs> which sometimes goes into game time. I don't know, you know, I don't know what time it is. But Hopefully yeah. there's no rain um, delay. Yeah. And I'm assuming now it's going to be a lot of standing room only out there just because a lot of tickets have been sold. And, you know, it's a great spot to watch a ball game. Anything else, Marilyn? Is that, is that, is that set up unique to, I mean, do, do a lot of other college stadiums have anything like that where there's, like, people – Outside the stadium watching? Yeah. Um, I mean, a couple places I've been to. Um, Oregon had a, they had some dorms out in right field, and I think on the 13th floor, a guy was announcing, like, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, in the game of softball, you're not, you don't get too many rabbit ear moments, you know, and, and usually because of female sports, people don't rag as much as they do in baseball, but it's starting to get there. And, um, you know, we practice sometimes with people in the stands and trying to yell some random things so we can talk about, hey, you know, rabbit ears, tuck them in, you know, we got to talk about the team right now. And, it was funny, Courtney seen us, our Hawaiian, she was the worst. And she used to have conversations and we go to Alabama. You know, are you talking about me? And she would start feeling like, Courtney, you have, you have your job right now. And, you know, it's, it's awesome. But it's a human thing. It's an awesome thing. Uh, I thought Oregon was fun and um, they're very competitive, awesome environment to play in. And um, I know that Oklahoma State, um, they pull up their trucks all around the outfield. And uh, it's almost like a Mississippi State baseball field out there with the berm. And they get after it there. So they're used to those those rowdies out there with their sticks and hitting the pads and, you know, they're used to a rowdy environment and uh, that's what they thrive in in Stillwater. So, um, so I know our fans will be unique, but it's nothing they haven't been through pressure wise before. So um, it's going to be fun. But you touched on it earlier, but I mean, as much as the success is gratifying, that whole, what, what this has become, mm-hmm. how special is that? Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's incredible. Um, you know, it's uh, funny cause it, you know, as a coach, um, you talk about, um, and I know that football does a lot. They put the speakers out there and it's really loud and you know, you're going to be at the World Series and 10,000 people and you got to communicate. And um, we got to the World Series and it was more like white noise. The actual craziness is when you're playing a Florida or you're playing a Super Regional and you're at our home park and people are going against each other. Until we got to the championship series against Washington and then people chose, then it became real noise. And um, there's only so many moments as a coach that I've been in that you've actually had to talk about rabbit ear moments and craziness. And the Washington series was one of them. Um, Florida has always been one of them. That's just that crazy rivalry. Um, and I would expect this weekend. I'm pretty sure Oklahoma State traveled pretty well. So I think this weekend's going to be one of them too. So um, we've talked about it a lot, you know, and now it's just about going playing and then holding each other accountable to it. Like, you know, get out of the stands right now or who cares what they're saying to you, you know, go about next pitch. So. Well, not to yeah. belabor the point on that, but you, you know, people turn out that the success is one thing, but I mean, you guys have also kind of fostered that too with mm-hmm. the way that you interact and put the kids out to do, you know, videos yep. and fun stuff. Uh, was that something that you wanted to do mm-hmm. or did it just come naturally uh, in terms of, I guess, being accessible and being visible to your community and your supporters? Yeah, definitely. Um, our game is such a social game. It's been a social game since these kids have been little. I mean, they're playing seven, eight games a weekend. They're at the ballpark the whole time. They're with their parents. I mean, you think of church league softball, you think of slow pitch. It's a slow, it's a very social game. And so I think that's the one thing that makes our atmosphere such an intimate, you know, part when you come to the Plex and then, you know, the relationships you get with the players. On the other side of it, it's great for them. So you grow through sport as a student athlete, but you can grow through your community too as a student athlete. And, uh, you know, just Danny and, and Elizabeth getting out and doing those commercials like it's amazing their personalities to be able to come out in that and they, they they're growing as people in those moments too but now everyone else is getting to know a little bit of the funny side so when you see Elizabeth dancing in right field you're like totally get that I saw her commercial you know and, and you can kind of relate it and then you become a big fan of the game and um you know I, I think that we're so lucky to be around such driven young women and uh, it's really inspiring for younger kids but it's, it's also inspiring for a lot of adults and, and people that are in a lot of situations that you become fans of these girls going through what they're going through and win, lose, or draw, you're, you're cheering for them for their moments. And that's what we want in our hip pocket for all of them. Yeah. Anything else? All right. Thank you all. Good. Appreciate it.